Assalamu alaikum. Hello and welcome to the English Year 6 online lesson. Today we will learn in Unit 11 reading with the topic Tailor Made. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to read and understand the story correctly. You will be successful if you are able to answer comprehension questions correctly. Before we start, you can take out your textbook and open page 107. So, are you ready? Here we go! This is from your textbook, page 107. So, we will read this story together. As usual, I want you to get your pencils. And while reading, I want you to point to where you are reading, okay? Seperti biasa, kita akan baca ini bersama-sama. Ambil pensel kamu dan tunjuk di mana yang kamu baca di dalam buku teks. Okay? So, ready? Asin is reading a story. Once upon a time, in a small kingdom, there lived a tailor. One day, as he was sewing a rope, some flies started troubling him. He shoot them away, but they continued to bother him. The tailor then took a fly swatter and killed seven flies with one swat. I have killed seven in a single blow, shouted the tailor with great pride. At that very moment, two ladies were standing outside his shop, talking about a fearsome giant. This giant was killing many people in the kingdom and eating them whole. When they overheard the tailor, the ladies thought, What a brave man he is! He has killed seven giants in one blow! They ran to the king and told him about the brave tailor. Bring him to me, ordered the king. The tailor tried to explain that he had only killed seven flies, but his cries were in vain. Go, kill the giant, the king ordered the tailor. The poor man had no choice but to obey. The tailor reached the giant's cave. Oh, what a mighty giant he is! I can't kill him, he thought. Then the tailor had a brilliant idea. That night, while the giant was sleeping, he sewed the giant's lips together. Lips together. Now the giant could not eat anything. When he woke up, he begged the tailor to undo the stitches on his mouth. The tailor agreed to do so on one condition. I will undo the stitches. Only if you promise to stop killing any more people and leave our kingdom immediately. The giant agreed and the tailor unpicked the stitches. The giant immediately left the kingdom and the tailor received a handsome reward from the king. Everyone lived happily ever after. So, do you understand the story? Okay, right now let me explain. As usual, I want you to write the meaning of the words that you don't know in your uh, textbook. Okay, seperti biasa, uh, teacher akan terangkan, kamu tulis maksud perkataan yang kamu tak tahu di dalam buku teks kamu. Okay, di atas perkataan yang kamu tak tahu tu. Use your pencil. Okay, so, Asin is reading a story. Dia kata Asin sedang membaca sebuah cerita. Once upon a time, pada suatu masa dahulu, in a small kingdom, dalam sebuah kerajaan yang kecil, small kecil, Kingdom ni kerajaan ataupun jajahan, okay? They live a tailor. Ada tinggal seorang tailor, tukang jahit. Tailor ni tukang jahit. One day, suatu hari, as he was sewing a rope, semasa dia sedang menjahit, sewing menjahit a rope, jubah, some flies, beberapa ekor lalat, flies ni lalat, started mula troubling him, mengganggu dia. Troubling ni mengganggu, okay? Memberi masalah atau mengganggu. Okay. He shoot them away. Dia menghalau mereka. Shoot tu macam shoot shoot. Okay. But they continue to bother him. Tapi mereka tetap uh, mengganggu dia. Yeah. Okay. The tailor then took a fly's water. 
Tukang jahit itu kemudiannya mengambil pemukul lalat. Fly swatter ni pemukul lalat ni macam kat tangan dia ni. And killed seven flies with one sword. Dan membunuh, kill, membunuh seven flies. Tujuh ekor lalat dalam satu pukulan sword. I have killed seven in a single blow, dia kata. Saya telah membunuh tujuh dalam satu pukulan. Okay. Single ni satu, blow ni pukulan. Okay. Shouted the tailor with great pride. Uh, jerit, shouted, jerit si tukang jahit itu dengan penuh bangganya. Okay, pride ni bangga. Okay, at that very moment, pada masa yang sama, these were standing outside his shop. Dua orang wanita, ladies, standing. Berdiri outside di luar kedainya. Talking about a fearsome giant. Bercakap tentang raksasa yang menakutkan. Fearsome ni menakutkan. Giant raksasa. The giant was killing many people in the kingdom. The giant membunuh ramai orang di uh, kingdomnya, okay? Di kerajaannya dan eating them whole dan memakan mereka bulat bulat. When they overheard the tailor, apabila mereka terdengar overheard dan terdengar, okay? The tailor, the ladies thought wanita wanita itu uh, terfikir, what a brave man he is. Betapa beraninya lelaki ini. Brave ni berani, okay. He has killed seven giants in one blow. Dia telah membunuh tujuh raksasa dalam satu bulan. Uh, okay. They ran to the king and told him about the brave tailor. Mereka pun lari berjumpa dengan raja dan memberitahu dia bahawa, uh, tentang uh, tukang jahit yang berani itu. Bring him to me. Uh, bawa dia kepada saya. Order the king. Uh, arah raja tadi, okay. Order ni arah, okay? The tailor try to explain. Tukang jahit itu cuba untuk memberi penjelasan, penerangan that he had only killed seven flies yang dia hanya lama bunuh tujuh ekor lalat. But his cries were in vain. Tapi tangisannya hanyalah sia-sia. Vain ni sia-sia. Okay? Cries, tangisan. Go, kill the giant. The king ordered, okay? Dia kata, pergi bunuh raksasa itu. Kata raja itu kepada... Uh, arah raja itu kepada tukang jahit. The man ordered, uh, the, the poor man had no choice but to obey. Uh, lelaki yang kesian tu tak ada pilihan, no choice tapi perlu hanya uh, menurut perintah, obey menurut perintah. The tailor reached the giant's cave. Tukang jahit itu pun sampai ke cave ni gua, gua si raksasa tadi. Oh what a mighty giant he is. Uh, betapa besarnya Rasa seni, mighty, okay, besar. Kuat. Mighty ni boleh jadi kuat ataupun besar. I can kill him. Saya tak boleh bunuh dia. He thought dia fikir. Then the tailor had a brilliant idea. Kemudian dia tukang jahit itu ada idea yang bijak. Brilliant yang bijak. That night, malam tu, while the giant was sleeping, masa rasa satu sedang tidur, he saw the giant sleep together. Dia pun menjahit. So, jahit lips bibir. Ha, menjahit bibir si giant tu. Now the giant could not eat anything. Sekarang raksasa tu tak boleh nak makan apa apa. When he woke up, bila dia bangun, he begged the tailor to undo the stitches on his mouth. Dia merayu, beg ni merayu dengan jahit itu untuk membuka undo ni membuka jahitan stitches jahitan pada mulutnya. The tailor agreed to do so. Dengan jahit itu agreed setuju untuk berbuat sedemikian on one condition dengan satu syarat condition ni syarat. I will undo the stitches. Only if you promise to stop killing any more people, saya akan bukakan jahitan sekiranya kamu promise berjanji untuk stop berhenti killing, bunuh orang lagi dan leave tinggalkan kerajaan kami dengan segera immediately. The giant agreed. Raksasa itu pun setuju dan tukang jahit itu unpick the stitches, membuka men, uh, membuka jahitan tersebut. Okay. The giant immediately left the kingdom. Raksasa itu pun dengan segeranya meninggalkan kerajaan itu dan Taylor received a handsome reward from the king. Dan tukang jahit itu menerima satu reward ni anugerah. Handsome ni bukan kacak tau. Tapi handsome kat sini maksudnya dengan jumlah yang banyak. Okay, jadi tukang jahit ni menerima anugerah dengan jumlah yang banyak daripada raja. Semuanya, everyone live happily ever after. Semuanya hidup Uh, gembira selama ramanya. Okay, I hope you understand this story. Okay, so next, let's discuss the questions. Okay, number one. 
What was bothering the tailor? Apakah yang mengganggu tailor tadi? We have A. Rope B. Ladies C. Giant And D. Flies I already given you all the meanings, right? For these words So you can find these uh, answers in the paragraph 1 in the story Okay? The clue is bothering So in the paragraph the same word for bothering is troubling. Okay? Sama maksud. Synonym. Bothering, troubling. So, the answer is near to the clue. Some flies. So, the answer is D. Very good. Now, we go to the second questions. How many flies did the tailor kill? Ada berapa ekor lalat yang dibunuh oleh itu kan jahit tersebut? 5, 6, 7, 10. So, do you still remember how many flies that the tailor killed? Ingat tak lagi berapa ekor? You can find the answer in paragraph 1. Kill flies is the clue. So, from the paragraph, you can find killed and flies. So, the answer should be near to the clue. Jawapannya sepatutnya berada berdekatan dengan clue tadi. So, the answer is 7. C. Very good. Okay, now let's go to the third questions. What did the ladies hear? Apa yang wanita wanita itu dengar? Okay, you can find the uh, answers in paragraph two. Okay, the clue is ladies hear. You can find it here. Ladies heard, overheard. Okay, has killed seven giants in one blow. So you can write your answer like this: The ladies heard that the tailor has killed. Seven giants in one blow. Very good. Now let's proceed to next questions. Number four. Why did the king call for the tailor? Kenapa raja itu panggil tukang jahit pun? So you can find the answer in the uh, third paragraph. Okay. The clue is king call for the tailor. Okay. Raja panggil uh, tukang jahit. Uh, ordered the king. Uh, to arahan raja. Bring him to me. Bawa dia kepada saya. Go kill the giant. Uh, so, the, the king ordered to kill the giant. So, you can answer like this. The king called for the tailor because he wanted the tailor to kill the giant. Okay. Next. Questions number five. Where did the giant live? Di mana raksasa itu tinggal? Easy right. So, you can find this in which paragraph? Very good. The last paragraph. Okay. Giant leaf is the clue. Giant's cave. Okay. So, the answer is cave. What is cave? Very good. Gua. So, you can write like this. The giant lived in a cave. Very good. Now, let's proceed with the Next question, number six. Did the tailor obey the king's command? Adakah uh, tukang jahit itu obey menurut perintah arahan raja tadi? So, you can find the answers in the third uh, paragraph. Okay. So, the clue is obey. Obey. So, the answers should be near to the clue. Okay. Jawapan biasanya berdekatan dengan clue tadi. Had no choice but to obey. So, you can write your answer like this. Yes. The tailor obeyed the king's command. Is it right? Senang je jawapan ni. Yes je jawapan dia. Then, sambung soalan tadi. The tailor obeyed the king's command. Alright. The last question is number 7. What happened to the giant? You can find the answer in the last paragraph. Okay. He saw the giant slips together. So, you can write the answer. He saw the giant's lips together. Easy. Can. Okay. I hope you understand all the questions and the story itself. I hope you enjoy uh, reading the story. You can read the story later by yourselves. Okay. So, this is the time for you to complete the exercise in the link given. Okay. Any questions, you can ask me through WhatsApp. You can watch this video over and over again to gain answers. Okay. That's all from me. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for joining the class. Until next time, I will see you again. That's all. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.